Listen, listen. I'm nothing without my morning process. Nothing without this morning reflection period where I'm consuming positive affirmations, repeating them over and over, structuring my mindset for the day so I'm strong enough to overcome my weaknesses so that I solidify my core beliefs through this action and I ensure my future with these daily habits. Through repetition, we gain strength. We gain our strength through repetition. So I have to continually tell myself these things over and over and over until I become them. I have to go through these steps over and over and over until I become them. Too many people want to just feel it right away. You're not it yet, motherfucker. That's why you don't feel it. You have to live it, become it, breathe it. And even though I've been doing this every morning for 13 years, I'll still fail on my triggers here and there. This morning, a kid comes up way too close, doesn't do the thing where you stand five feet away from someone and wave at them to get their attention before you approach them, just taps me on the shoulder as I'm sitting on a piece of equipment after my squats. He's like, are you using this machine? And, and I'm just thinking, this fucking idiot. What the fuck is the matter with this dude? But that's my fault for expecting people to be able to operate like that. So I should have essentially just understood and moved on, but I didn't. I reacted wrong and I'm like, what's up, big dog? I'll be done in a second. I know better. I say it. That's one of mine. Those that don't reflect, project. And I projected how I felt upon this dude instead of coming in already in a state of reflection where I knew the answer. If I go rude to this motherfucker, I'm going to experience karmic debt. I'm going to be thinking about how rude I was to him for the next 30 minutes, thus decreasing my productivity level. And I'm a productive individual. I don't need to lose energy here, our most valuable resource. So here I am acting out of fucking congruence with what I know best from lack of reflection. And I've been doing it this long. You must stay in a consistent state of reflection, habitually constructing the individual that's impervious to his own faults. So that ain't even the end of it. I pull in that front parking spot every morning and I sit there on my phone a little bit after and I'm just cooling down and a dude comes up and he parks behind me waiting for me to pull out because the car's running. But he's yelling at me from his car like, hey, you moving? And I should have known better because I just reacted wrong to that other motherfucker. I get out the car all fast. I said, hey, big dog, I'll be done in a second. And he's just like, oh, like, and, and once again, I did the same fucking thing. It's my fault. If you run into three assholes today, you're the fucking asshole. I'm already at two. I got to stop. So this is why reflection is so powerful. It's all your fault, motherfucker. Anger is a punishment we inflict upon ourselves for someone else's mistake. It's so foolish. It's so foolish. Then we pay karmic debt for it. I'm still attached to the moment because thus, here I am making a video about it. It took away about an hour of my life. feel better now because I'm in control. I see it's my fault. I'm owning it. But this is why it's so powerful. You can get rid of everything that you think is happening to you, but you're actually causing. So learning to live in this state puts you in a consistent reflective state based on extreme accountability. Whenever I see someone who's not in the position they want to be in, I just am like, damn, look at those choices that motherfucker made. It's all your fucking choices. Your fucking choices got you where you're at. My fucking choices got me where I'm at. You could easily dig this deeper. You could easily make the situation you're in worse. When I was in the penitentiary, as if that wasn't bad enough for 10 years, I kept making it fucking worse. It can get worse, motherfucker. Choose to be better by reflecting and saying it's your fault and changing the role you take in this shit. It's so fucking amazing to me how many lives I've seen change lately from 30, 60, 90, 180, 365 days of positive reading, positive actions, and getting rid of all those things you regret. I regret the way I react to people most. I don't have those other vices I used to have. Those used to be my main regrets. Once you get rid of everything you regret, once you get rid of all negative behavior, your reflective state becomes heightened because you see exactly when you react to someone that small that it's you, not them. Now you're in control. Now everything's really clear. Long story short, long story short, long story short, it wasn't either of those dudes' faults today. 
If it was their fault, then I'd be victimizing. That shit was my fault. I'm in control, motherfucker. Let's go.